Hello my dear students welcome to my youtube channel that's concepts of chemistry before starting today's lecture please do subscribe my channel my dear students today we are going to derive the redberg equation before doing that let us recapitulate the previous lectures that we have done that's uh, emission spectrum so what is emission spectrum that is when an electron makes a transition from higher energy orbit to a lower energy orbit it will emit a photon the photon so obtained will may, will be made to strike on the photographic plate to obtain some impression and that impression will be called as emission spectra as the photon has been emitted by the electron during a transition from higher energy orbit to a lower energy orbit so what is redberg equation or what is the redberg formula so this formula is actually used to evaluate the wavelength of the photon emitted when electron makes a transition from higher energy orbit to a lower energy orbit so i have made a diagram in which i have shown you the nucleus the lower energy orbit and the higher energy orbit so now let us assume that electron is present in the higher energy orbit and electron is here the electron is here the yellow dot is the electron now what will happen electron will make a transition from higher energy orbit to the lower energy orbit during that transition the electron will the electron will emit a photon the electron will emit a photon photon whose energy will be equal to the energy difference between the two orbits so the energy of photon is also represented by h c by lambda so our main motive is to find the wavelength of the photon that has been emitted during a transition which we will calculate by using the redberg equation so first of all we are going to do the derivation of the redberg equation so before starting that before starting the derivation let me give you one important note the note to be remembered and it is that only one photon only one photon is emitted per electronic transition per electronic transition so what we are going to do we are going to derive the redberg equation so i'm writing redberg equation this equation is used to calculate let the wavelength of the photon emitted when electron makes a transition makes a transition from higher energy orbit to the lower energy orbit to the lower energy orbit so now let's come back to the diagram the electron is present in the higher energy orbit so let us mark that orbit to be n i where i stands for initial here i is signifying the initial position of the electron or the initial orbit number in which the electron is present 
so i'm representing my higher energy orbit by a small n and the i where i represents the initial stage so the energy energy of the initial orbit will be then e i so i have represented the energy of the higher energy orbit by a capital e and the i so here i am writing energy of higher energy orbit so now the electron is making a transition from higher energy orbit to a lower energy orbit so now let us represent our lower ener energy orbit by this small n and uh, f what is f over here the final position of the electron so here i am writing or the final orbit number in which electron is entering and uh, small n i i stands for initial or the initial orbit in which the electron was initially present so nf is the final orbit number in which the electron is entering so the energy of the final orbit will be represented as capital e and a small f f stands for energy of final orbit number in which the electron is entering e i is the energy of the higher energy orbit or energy of the electron present initially in that orbit energy of the electron or energy of the orbit in which the electron is initially present so that's a ei so so from these two one thing is very much clear that energy of initial orbit is greater than the energy of final orbit so this is the thing so energy of the initial orbit obviously i have told you that electron is making a transition from higher energy orbit to a lower energy orbit the higher energy orbit is represented by small i so as an n i and its energy is capital e and i the capital e and small i is greater than the energy of the final orbit that is a capital e and a small f so now let's come back to the bohr atomic model in which we have evaluated the energy of the electron in the nth orbit so let us recapitulate the previous formula of the energy of electron so i'm writing the energy of electron in nth orbit is represented by the formula minus 2 pi square m e raised to power 4 k square into z square divided by h square and the n square where the z was atomic number where z was atomic number n was orbit number small m was mass of electron e was charge on electron and k is the constant of permittivity so let us apply this formula on the orbit number n small i and the orbit number n and the small f so here i'm writing the energy of the electron in the orbit small i or the initial orbit so it comes out to be minus 2 π 
pi square m e4 k square z square divided by h square and here I am writing n i square the n i square n initial square or the initial orbit square and the same way the energy of final orbit it will be equal to the minus 2 pi square m e4 k square z square divided by h square and now small n f square the energy of the final orbit will be small n f square I have taken the small n stands for the orbit number in which the finally electron is entering so nf f stands for final square so now here I'm writing now when an electron makes a transition from higher energy orbit to the lower energy orbit then electron will emit a photon it will emit a photon whose energy whose energy will be equal to the energy difference of the two orbits that is the energy of the photon emitted will be equal to the difference in energy of initial orbit and final orbit and I have told you earlier that energy of initial orbit is obviously greater than the energy of final orbit because electron is making transition from higher energy orbit to the lower energy orbit so ei is greater than the ef i stands for initial and f stands for final so now let us put down this formulas over here first of all the energy of photon emitted it will be h c by lambda and we have to evaluate the lambda now the wavelength we have to evaluate so now let us substitute the values of ei and ef uh, so i'm writing minus 2 pi square m e4 k square z square divided by h square and i square minus now is minus 2 pi square m e4 k square z square divided by h square and the n final square so in the next step it comes out to be h c by lambda will be equal to the minus 2 pi square m e4 k square z square divided by h square and the n i square now it's in minus minus plus so it, I have opened the bracket so minus and minus comes out to be the plus so it comes out to be 2 pi square m e4 k square into z square divided by h square 
and the n final square. This is a Planck's constant h. So now mm, uh, hc by lambda. So it comes out to be uh, two pi square m e four k square into z square divided by h square. I have taken all these constant values to be the common, and what I'm left inside the bracket, it comes out to be one upon n final square the final orbit number minus 1 by n initial square the initial orbit number so in the next step what I'm doing 1 by lambda is equal to the uh, I'm cross multiplying the things that is I'm taking h and a c over here so this thing comes out to be 2 pi square m e4 k square divided by h cube c into z square into 1 by n final square that is final orbit number minus n initial square that is the initial orbit number uh, here my students this this whole value this whole value is called Rydberg constant so now let us uh, substitute the values of every constant over here so it comes out to be uh, 2 what is the value of pi is 3.14 square what is the value of fm the mass the 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 what is the value of charge is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 to the fourth power was the value of k permittivity constant is 9 into 10 to the power 9 divided by was the value of Planck's constant it's 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 cube and was the value of c the speed of light is 3 into 10 to the power 8 after calculating the whole values you will get your answer to be 109677 per centimeter. I have evaluated the value of Redberg constant in the units of centimeter. This is 109677 per centimeter. So now let's substitute this value in the main formula. So it comes out to be 1 by lambda is equal to the 109677 into z square into 1 upon final orbit number square minus 1 upon initial orbit number square now we are solving it for the hydrogen atom for hydrogen Five for hydrogen, my dear students, z is equal to one. So let's substitute the value of z. It comes out to be one square. So you can directly write that the Rydberg formula comes out to be one upon lambda is equal to the one zero nine six seven seven. into 1 upon n final square minus 
वन अपॉन एन इनिशियल स्क्वायर वेयर एन फाइनल वॉज फाइनल ऑबेट नंबर एंड एन आई वॉज इनिशियल ऑबेट नंबर एन एफ वॉज द फाइनल ऑबेट नंबर सो दैट वॉज द सो दिस इज द रेड बग फॉर्मूला सो लेट मी राइट सम पॉइंट ओवर हेयर दैट दिस लैमडा इज वेव लेंथ ऑफ द फोटोन एमिटेड एंड एफ इज ऑबिट नंबर इन विच इलेक्ट्रॉन इज finally entering and n i is orbit number in which electron was initially present was initially present so this is the redbug formula in the next lecture i'm going to solve some numericals for you to have a better understanding for you so that's all for today i hope you got the whole derivation and whole the concept whole concept of evaluating the redbug equation and finally calculating the wavelength of the photon emitted by the electron when it makes a transition from higher energy orbit to a lower energy orbit so i hope you all understood today's lecture if any student wants to book a paid one to one online class to clear their doubts then he she can contact me my phone number is mentioned on thumbnail of this lecture please like subscribe and share my channel to maximum number of students don't forget to press the subscribe button stay blessed